Hi, I'm Jared. And I'm Dean. And welcome to the Crypto Center at Bitcoin Solutions. Uh, we do our meetups here every month and we bring a lot of new people in where we try and explain Bitcoin to them. So we've got a hack day project here that we wanted to show as part of our solution to that. All right, so this is the unit we built. Um, it's mounted on aluminum pan that's been uh, painted uh, orange, obviously. Uh, it's a Raspberry Pi 3. It has a hard drive uh, connected, so it's running Bitcoin, obviously. Uh, through HDMI, we're going to a display. Through the headphone jack, we're going to some speakers and an amplifier. So it can play sounds through the GPIO. We're going to uh, e-ink display and some buttons that we soldered together uh, for user input. So that's the hardware. The software that we wrote um, is most represented by this display here. So I've got three columns. The, um, the first column here is just basic system monitor resources. So uh, disk usage, RAM, CPU, that kind of thing coming off the Raspberry Pi. The second column is uh, Bitcoin D. Uh, so it's querying the, the RPC calls to get like mempool info, fee estimates, uh, information about the blocks. It's actually listening via 0MQ for new blocks and it breaks down a few stats on you know, how many transactions and that kind of thing. And then yeah, it's showing here that it's been 17 minutes since the last block. So every time there is a new block, it will read off on the speakers, um, play a chime and tell us the, the block height. Uh, the last column is the Lightning Network, so it has channels. Um, I'm connected to a uh, cloud node, it has a channel with that. So this Raspberry Pi owns some Satoshis, both on-chain and uh, in, in the channel at this very moment. So that's just the basic um, sitting there, kind of you can see about Bitcoin, but we also built in a jukebox um, with this. So you can cycle through songs, uh, takes takes a couple seconds to draw on the e-ink, but you get a, a song invoiced for you. So if uh, you go to Claire Mobile here, you scan that, um, it's invoicing for 14 and a half Satoshis approximately. If I hit pay, it'll find a route. It has to go through several nodes to actually get here, uh, but it should increment the Satoshis um, on the screen you should see. Yeah, so we increment it up and our song has started to play but I'll turn that down so we don't get a copyright strike. Okay, so that's that's the unit. You can see it on GitHub. Uh, very briefly, it will also run not on a Raspberry Pi. I have a web interface. Uh, you can point the web browser and get the lightning invoices um, and then uh, you know, develop it. That's, that's useful when you don't have the hardware. And so yeah, we're adding more features and thinking of cool things to do. So thank you.